wrong, man. I, explain to them, man, why, why did we start the Ike and Rome? Like, uh, we started the show, the Ike and Rome show, basically so that we can be able to reach a lot of the young kids, yep. a lot of the young athletes, young uh, men, young women, mm -hmm. try to give them an outlet, have them get prepare themselves for the next level. Public speaking. Yeah, public speaking. A lot of kids, they get in there and they don't really know how to articulate well. There you go. So we try to put this show together, not just to talk about sports, but to talk about their lives. Very seldom do I, I can roam show that we get into deep into their sports or stats. different things they do as stats because most people know what these athletes some, do. Some people, you can just you know, turn on the TV or like grab a right. local newspaper and get the stats. Somebody wearing right. 400 yards. That's good. Right. We're, we're talking but about Most people that. don't know what goes on the daily, day-to-day like, -day life of one of these athletes. There you go. Uh, single, some of these parents, some of these parents are single parents. Yeah. You know, some of these athletes, some parents are pulling their kids from uh, miles and miles away to take their kids to school. You know, it's a lot of different, uh, you know, challenges Dynamics. every day that yeah. they get up and do different little things. But the best thing about it for me was doing the show was to meet a lot of great individuals, a lot of great young men, a lot That's of right. great young women in our That's community, right. being able to talk to them. That create uh, that, that platform yeah, that where you can, like, <clears throat> improve in life, man, right. get better. You have some challenges, right. and we understand that. And you know, it's a thing I'll call ball is life, but we don't really go by that because we don't think ball is life. It's more to life than just ball. Yeah, and there will be a life after that if that is your life. So, sports is important, man. I think it's you can use it as a vehicle, right, to get to the next level, whatever you're trying to do in life. You know, for an example, going to college, yes, you made it. Right, it was like seventy thousand. Man, if you can go to college for free. It's a win. Right. I don't care if you're using D3, For the family. D2. Yeah. You know, and I understand a lot of kids look at this and they say, I just want to go to school for free, but I know their ultimate goal is to try to get to the league yeah. or whatever sport they do. Yeah. And, and we, we do understand that. But there is a life after that. Yep. Even if you're in the NFL, say you're in the NFL and you have a great career, you're still a young man when you're done. So what are you going to do? You know, we try to let these young men know that there's more to it than just and young women. sports. And young yeah, women, yeah, yeah. absolutely. We even, we even had, we even will have like athletes that come on the show that probably, you know, were major in communication. Right. Uh, one of the first young men that we allowed to work on one of our shows years ago was a young man by the name of Darnay Holmes. Uh -huh. He's currently at, <clears throat> I think it was at UCLA. UCLA, yes. Sir. Just graduated, congratulations Darnay. Three years too, right? Yep, yep. Wow. went to Calabasas High School. Yeah. Uh, dad played in the NFL. Yeah. For Buffalo for many years. Eric and, Holmes. <clears throat> yeah. Eric Holmes. Little brother, big, and his dad, big shout out to Pro, Pro Way. Way. Yeah. Um, but did want to let them know, man, we want to create a platform where these young kids can, even if they wanted to get into communication, they can use the Ike and Rome show. And right. we would like to use that platform to allow them to increase their knowledge on whatever it is they want to do in life. That's our mantra. That's our mantra. Win, win in life. Win in life. You got to win in life. You got to win in life. And it comes through hard obstacles. Work. Yeah, hard work. Perseverance. There you go. Stride. You got to keep going. You know, falling down, getting back up. You know, all these wonderful things that people say these different little models that we use or posts that we use to try to, you know, make things greater or make ourselves better, I guess. But in reality of it all, we gotta take this life. We're getting up, we walk with these young men, and we don't even understand sometimes the struggles and the trials they go through. Right. You know, so we look at them and say, oh man, you're an athlete, you're a great athlete, you can run that ball. But we don't know if he ate that morning. Right. I'm not saying we, other people don't know if he ate. So when we talk to these young people, we try to- It's bigger than just- Get in depth, some, we wanna know some people out there. Really, all they care about right. is the sports. Yeah. And with us, we really have a passion for their family. We want, right. them, to, want them to do well. Right. And it's not just because I can home wants them to do well. We just we think everybody should have an opportunity. Well, we're a family. We're a family show. Yes, we are. You, you can't come on. This not. I don't think we had one show where we brought in just an athlete. Unless right. they were older athletes, you know, maybe a junior college, things like that. Right. But if you're in high school, you sport, we always made sure you brought the parents in. Right. That's what we believe in, and we set the parents down with the athlete. And we talked about their daily struggle, we talked about their challenges, we talked about their wins, their losses, you know, their ups and their downs. Because we really want the people that's listening to the Ike and Rome show to understand that it's more than just sports. Yep. That it's a lifestyle too. And we want we want you guys to understand that we family. We um, right. Uncle Rome, Uncle, Uncle Ike. Ike. That's Ike how we Rome do it. Show, you know.